Team coverage continues with Action News Jack's Ben Becker, who is live on the west coast of Florida in Cedar Key. Ben, we're expecting that area to be hit hard by Idalia. That's right, Tanika. For, for those of you who are just joining us right now, maybe you got home from work. This is what the latest is. So I'm here at Cedar Key. This is about two hours north of Tampa on the Gulf of Mexico, and the storm is expected to make landfall somewhere in this area uh, overnight into tomorrow, as Mike Birch has been telling you. So as you come into Cedar Key, this is the warning, right? Evacuation orders in effect, hurricane warning, and storm surge warning so a lot of warning so what exactly is a storm surge a storm surge is how high the water gets as it gets pushed off the gulf of mexico so we're talking the projections 10 to 15 feet to give you an idea how much that is well as i stand next to this sign 15 feet is about the top of the sign regardless of this though some people are staying put the gulf of mexico looks good from afar through the use of the action news jack sky vision drone but it will be far from good because of Hurricane Idalia. I don't know if I'm going to ride it out or not. Rob Hilgendorf has owned the Cedar Inn Motel in Cedar Key for more than 40 years. Idalia is in the distance and is expected to introduce itself with authority on Wednesday. I came through the last one. I think it was Hermine. Hilgendorf walked me through what happened to him when Hurricane Hermine hit Cedar Key in 2016, resulting in approximately nine feet of storm surge. We never lost power during Hermine. Water. I was on the end, I could see it coming out up there, and I said, I'm doomed. This time, 10 to 15 feet of storm surge is expected. Jeff Wigston has a plan. You gonna ride this thing out? Yeah, I got a, a friend's house that's very safe. So not your house no, over no, here? No, I'm getting to much higher ground. Cedar Key was in the crosshairs of Hurricane Michael in 2018, but the Category 5 storm ended up hitting the panhandle. As for Hilgendorf, he's hoping for the best, but expecting the worst with the wind and storm surge. Dean. Double the strength, I don't know. Well, one thing we do know, lots of wood put up here. Also, you see sandbags as well. I'm here at a gas station, a marathon gas station. This pump is wrapped, but this will certainly be a marathon and not a sprint with this storm. Reporting live from Cedar Key, Ben Becker, Action News Jacks.